Sarah. Sarah is eight months pregnant, and in a couple of weeks' time, a traditional birth attendant will cut her umbilical cord with a rusty blade and apply toothpaste for quick healing. For Sarah and her baby, there is no such thing as a routine pregnancy. Every year, 300,000 women and 2.7 million babies die during the brief window period between a baby's birth and a baby's first month. The major challenge is a lack of access to sterile supplies and untrained birth attendants. I know this because it happened to me. A year and a half ago, I was pregnant, and I was asked by the hospital to provide my own birthing tools. No gloves, no scalpel blade, no delivery kit. They asked me to do this because they didn't provide the birth materials themselves, and I was told if I didn't have them, I would be sent back. Fortunately, I could afford it, and I had a healthy son. But I found it unacceptable that one in six babies and one in ten mothers died because they didn't have these materials. So I came up with a solution. My solution is a baby delivery kit. It's in three parts. We provide low-cost sterile kits, including our patent-pending sanitary pads made from banana fiber. Second, we also train traditional birth attendants as our packing and distribution agents. Third, using mobile technology, we're able to connect the trained birth attendants to pregnant mothers to avoid them giving birth alone. We've, we've done this a thousand times, literally. We've sold a thousand kits in our pilot with the Zambian Ministry of Health. Our pilot was so successful that we have gotten approval to scale from five clinics in Zambia to all 4,000 clinics in the country. This is great news, but we need your help. We need to scale up. We, we have to reach 950,000 births per year in Zambia. And to be able to do this, we need partners. Currently, we have partners in Zambia who've helped us scale and they can help us scale in the region. We also have been able to cut our costs by making the kits on our own, cutting a th coming to a third of the original cost, and we also give the traditional birth attendants a euro off every kit that they sell, empowering them. We have a great team that believes in the product and believes in the solution. I'm an engineer by profession. I was trained in China and the US. What we need from you is a $150,000 investment. We need to scale up and we need product development because we believe this problem should not exist. And together, we know we can do it because it's a self-sustaining business. Thank you. Thank you. You've been here now for about a week. Uh, could you tell us what you've learned since you've landed in Helsinki? And if anything you've learned, how do you think it can impact or be implemented in your business? Thank you. Great question. I have learned that um, Finland was in exactly the same problem we are eight years ago. And they came up with an innovative finish box, which the government is able to give pregnant women through a subsidy. And looking at that, I've been able to also meet with people who have been part of that project. And we're seeing how we can develop that and integrate it in our problem. But that problem was solving something else at the moment because they, also, they provide clothes. What we do, our intervention, is at the point of childbirth, when the baby is born. Because without that, the baby will have tetanus, will have infections, and won't be able to wear the clothes that the box provides. So the, the, do you provide developmental support for the semi-professional on the ground at the moment? Are you supporting them developmentally so they have the better capacity to support the mother and childbirth? Yes, that's currently what we're doing and that's why we're training them. So women in communities, because of distances to the nearest health facility, it would take them three days to get there. And once she's in labor, the risk of her giving birth along the way is very high. They prefer to, to give birth from home. Zambia is one of the highest home births at 60%. So we've realized by training the traditional birth attendants and connecting them with the mothers using our Uber for pregnant mothers, using mobile technology, the mothers don't have to give birth alone and the birth attendants are already skilled and they have the kits. So this, the risk of them you know, using unsafe materials is very low. I like the fact that you're creating a, a sustainable business to do this and uh, you need money to do working capital. But beyond money, what else can people here provide you with that enables you to make this goal or dream come true? We also need strategic partners. 
We're developing our platform for crowdsourcing traditional birth attendants and pregnant women using mobile technology. And in order to do this, we need the digital platform to do it. So we're also looking for people who can help us in this aspect, as well as strategic partners to be able for us to source some of the materials and learn from Finland. Because if you could do it 80 years ago and you've brought it to one to four, I think we can do it. We're on the path to do it.